Aloha! This is the Green Lighting Mr. T, and welcome back to more EG. Last time I did it, I got my pacifist run completely done by the skin of my teeth because I barely had enough. Uh, I barely. I needed. To, I needed to be level. What was it? Twenty eight. You don't. You, you start at level one, right? Not level zero. I was like, I barely had enough to get the, the super weapon combined. So that I could destroy the thing without having to fight Asha. And that was it. I, I went ahead and proceeded to beat the game and got almost the same ending as I did during my, like, ulti mortal run. However, the Tazen got to live. So now, we're gonna do a little bit of cleanup on, um... Old, older files that I, like, still have. Because we're gonna um, mess with some different endings slash doing um, other secrets that like we passed up on. So, which ones are these? <laughs> like this is I think the top ones should be the. Oh yeah, that's right. Sec the Sector 8 save is so that I can save Dan and stuff. Yeah, okay. So that's fine to leave. We'll mess around with that a little bit too. But we're going to start with the, the unexplored stuff first. And that means we're going to Sector 9, right? Yeah, we're going to do that first. Pretty sure. Yeah, let's do it. We're gonna go to Sector 9. Okay. So, I will basically fast forward something of that nature or skip ahead. Something will happen and you'll see when I get to the Tazen. Yeah, that's, that's what. Okay. This is the end of it, right? Yep, this is the end of it. Still miss my opportunity to the lake. Look and see who went through the portal. Whoops. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing I can walk, look back to the video to find out. Huh. Here we have all the friendly people. I un I I realized my mistake with that uh, sign like immediately after like after I recorded the video. I was like, wait a minute, you start at level one. Of course you can use the rocket in the first level. That would kind of defeat the point of purpose of it explaining you should use the rocket in the first level to find a hidden sector. Yeah. You, yeah, that's a thing. It, it, it's not just spewing lies at you. So what's the story here? No, this is the Komodo Assassin we it's been you know traitoring the Komodo? I don't know. So the opportunity to kill someone is now presenting itself. Yeah. 
Damn it, I can barely see the air is completely thick down here and the elevator shaft smells like blood. Was this some sort of bunker? I really know what I'm doing if I'm going any further. Ooh, it's question marks. Question mark time. Apparently it is a weird place right now. It's being all quiet and uh, mysterious. Are there actual dead humans around here? Says in retreat group, relax. You know what? I was thinking about it. Asha is a loon, and I don't see a single one of us sticking to him now. But let's not push our luck. Let's all meet up and wait out the orders to head back to lower orbit. As always, if you start taking heavy damage, then just make a run for it. This has always been our tactic, so stick to it. I don't want to lose any of you. There's that over there. This would have been so good. So yeah, this is, I was told that these things existed in the comments, and like that I've those were the weird things that I've been seeing that didn't know how to collect. Why do you want me dead? That would have definitely saved me time, though. Alright, cut it out, you guys. Okay, that was annoying. I guess they weren't happy about me just taking some st something that was just sitting on the ground? I don't know. So this is like an ammo room of some kind? Huh. That's it? You come down here, you grab ammo and you leave? That's- that's all this is? Oh. Apparently not. Apparently I'm alright with handling one, it's just when they start becoming two that it's too much. Thank you. 
But am I just done? I didn't... Huh. I guess that was it. Okay. Is this a different... No? <laughs> what was that for? <laughs> um, is, is that gonna change something in the story now? Huh. That was definitely weird. Huh. Did I prove myself worthy? I get, at the very least, I get to do this. As useful as that is. It would have been so nice to have that extra little bit of a... ...point. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll, uh, I'll just... There we go! Okay. Who are you, and what are you gonna do for me? God, what now? That fight back there, I couldn't keep my team from attacking without blowing my cover, I apologize. Huh, you? Unsoxy. Yeah, that was, that was... That was a name we saw of, like, who went traitorous or something. From the Komodo. We don't have time to talk, but there's someone up ahead. I've been wait wanting dead for star turns. Now that here, this is a perfect chance. What do you mean? I need your help and a scapegoat. You'll understand in a moment. Raise, ready your weapons. We're taking her on. Okay. Well, this is, this is different. Oh, what do we have it here? Okay. Is this going to be the same? Yeah, this looks all the same. <laughs> okay, different. Different happens. Okay. Talk, talk, talk. The army sh sure did things to your head. I'm done seeing them look up to people like you. Me and this human were taking you down. Ah, well, you sure of guts. I never thought I'd see your tradious little face again. I never got to reporting you to Asha. Not that it matters now. If you're hoping to change history, you're too late. Assassin, far too late. Let's go, Anomaly. Let's go, Anomaly. Cool! They're actually sort of like helping each other. <laughs> you see, look, I admit the damage is very minuscule. The damage does exist, it does exist. You are actually doing something. Hey, that's a super gun that I learned how to shoot when after <laughs> finally having everything upgraded.
focusing. Sorry, I'm not talking very much. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not going too difficultly from how the fight normally goes. You just keep lasering. I would like to think that, what was it, Anaski or something like that? Has managed to at least do one pip worth of laser fire during this whole, you know, escapade. But I'm not even sure of that. Well, probably I... Yeah! That was the other assassin, not me. Hold <laughs> on, well, I gotta equip this. And then I gotta get it close. <laughs> gotta get over... Dang it. No! Shoot. It's just, it's just getting my gun switched is just so awkward. Okay. And I have to get closer. Right, down, and then do it. Haha, <gasps> 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 looks like we've done the impossible. Good riddance. Okay. You you didn't have to. Elsa is not the kind of person who can be spared. Had we not dealt with her now, things would have only gotten worse down the line. Listen, if you want to stop the Elsa, you'd better see the general and fast. Yeah, that's right. I need to go to Sector X. Dan's waiting for me, too. Looks like you do know what you're doing. I need to leave before they suspect me. This is not going to win either of us any points with the army. I also was a hero, so wear this victory with pride. I certainly will. Okay, that did not count as a kill for me, though. All right. So that was an that was a stiff. A, 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 well, it was a different option. I don't know. Well, I mean, I suppose I'll probably be alive at the end of all this. So, uh, in that sense, yay. In the other sense, sad. She, yeah, she did. Okay. I'll go ahead and just uh, finish this up as. And, and so we can actually see, you know, an ending. Um, yeah, I guess I can save over this because I'm not doing anything else with this. Yeah, it's done. Yep, okay. I'll save over that, but there. Okay. Okay, this is different though. Anytime something different, sh dialogue or anything, um, yep, we'll, we'll, I'll drop back in. An assassin showed up and helped me kill the Iosa. A really important Komodo hero, at least that's what she told me. Holy crap, that must be why. Okay, they're all hunting. This is probably mostly the same. Okay, I think that's it. I will... Thankfully, this time, I don't have to frickin' go nuts trying to gather up Nano. I, I already... I got an extra point for free for going down into the lab area thing. So that means when it comes time to... Uh, uh, give me a moment. So 
So when it comes time to... Sorry about that. When it comes time to... What was I saying? I was all lost in front. When it comes time to shoot the generator thing, I've already got the, the points devoted to making that happen. Gosh, I was a mouthful. And, like... So, like, I don't have to go nuts trying to get nano. I just have to live. It's so much better, so much simpler. Alright, I will see you in a little while. Okay, I made it to the end. This time with basically no issues. I even got an extra level that I didn't have. And what is this? You got the maskers. Select by pressing zero while in active mode. This weapon will use your own armor as ammunition and its power is unaffected by your attack stat. Damage taken by firing it does not count towards your damage taken total. Why do I own this? Um, probably. Left behind by you, yes. This is Assassin As Asaski. I forgot to thank you for your help. It's because of your cracking skills that we got anywhere near beating Iosa at all. The Imperial Army won't take our death lightly, and whatever happens when you get to Tor can only make it worse. Still, you've got a strong mind. I'm with General Tor, but if a mere human is enough to change him, perhaps I need to change as well and leave the army. Don't worry about me, just do what you think is right at any rate. If things go wrong and you need to put Tor in place, those flimsy nano weapons won't do you any good. I believe violence is a tool that should be used sparingly, but with utmost force. Do you understand this too? And as far as I've gathered, you have survived this far without killing a single one of your enemies, excluding that bastard Iosa, of course. I admire your resolve, therefore I left you a massacre. A weapon that was once used on Sir. Taco. Look up the weapon info on the Posman if you're interested. Either way, this prototype is not as powerful as the real deal and will drain your armor when fired, but it should suffice to keep it Komodo General in check. Good luck, Anomaly. Huh. Weird. I get a new special weapon. <laughs> no need to. No need to, to practice with it. We, we, we're just going to accept that we own it. Okay, this is all the same stuff. Yeah, and if, like I have an extra point to assign somewhere. Sure. Ribbon. Yep, all that jazz. Strange door. Well, I guess we get to do this too now, don't we? Okay. Um. No tase and kills confirmed. No Komodo kills confirmed. This is all the same, I'm pretty sure. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Purge three. This might be the same as like the first time I played through this and I shot I also myself. And then this is just to be the same shamed. You again. You don't mind me. I'm just here to pick up the audio log out of Tor if he dies. I didn't come to I know, but with the way you are, I'm not keeping my hopes up. Just remember that I can't call your hand this time, Anomaly. My name's Iggy, and there's nothing else I can do. I'm not gonna let you destroy the world. 
Remember, the general has an easier time listening to someone calm and rational. Don't get too excited, DG. About that, did you really have to kill Iosa? This is so awesome. You could just chat. I knew it could cost my life. I knew it would devastate General Tor. I did it because that woman was wrong. Whether her death will be an awakening or further motive aiding her troops is for them to decide. I'm just glad I got to do it myself. You're really obsessed with this. So what if I am? I wanted to stop the development of Generation 3 weapons and the ideals behind them, but of course there will be sacrifice. I admire your pacifism, but remember that the ones who don't fight back are the easiest to crush. I gotta go, but do you have any more suggestions for convincing Tor? Simply arguing won't work. Tor doesn't care who pushes the buttons, as he thinks the one who gave him the order is the one at fault. He'll blame anyone but himself, no matter what you're planning to tell him. Jeez, thanks a lot. I didn't say it's hopeless. If push comes to shove, your gun is a better weapon than your own words. General's exoskeletons can't aim at nearby units, and most of their weapons can be reflected. Your determination alone might just be enough to make him change his mind. I have no sympathies for your plant, but if you do manage to have your way, I suppose there is more to you than survival instinct. Don't run to to die. Got it. Okay, yep, that is the end of that. Okay, now now we'll experience what's to the left. This is really I really should take a look in these logs before touching anything out here. <laughs> Super dangerous, huh? Generalize maximum charge. What's your zero zel Kalio? Always poking your beacon things. I suppose I'd tell you what I'm guarding. You see, normally the Edelon general exoskeleton takes some time to activate the full power of the weapons array after being first activated. If a general needs to do combat unprepared, the exoskeleton's weapons will start at weak and gradually increase in power as they are used. This is really the case as the generals of the Imperial are not simply surprised by their enemies. In case of an emergency, however, a mobile power core can be used to ready a maximum charge of the exoskeleton, upgrading all of its weapons to their full potency as soon as it's activated. We actually have a power core dedicated to charging towards exoskeleton right here, but I doubt who will ever have to use it. If you were to mess with that terminal over here, it means Tor will be fully charged for battle, absolutely no punches held. Oh, this is the way to make the fight harder. Hooray! Whoa, whoa, whoa. So go, just in case you poke around around here, I, after I leave, I will have to do not mess with that terminal, or once General Tor enters, this power core will raise its weapon and defense shielding the maximum power. You'll get in trouble if you do that without permission. Press the candy for maximum charge. Great! Great! I just made my life harder. <laughs> for your entertainment and my own. Huh. <sighs> It gets to start at full power, huh? And we still have to try out this massacre, see if it's actually useful or not. It's gonna have to do some serious damage to actually be worth using. Also, um, can I? No, I can, I'll have to check the weapon information after. <laughs> Who's there? Okay, General E.G., hello. Can you understand me? What exactly is it? You have to be. Yes, I know. I'm not human. No. You're the scum who killed Iosa. Let me explain. Oh, yep, that line's a little different. Killed by one of our own preposterous. I'm not lying, and I'm not here to fight you. All I want is a peaceful discussion. Oh, of what, may I ask? Okay, this looks. Like it's going to loop into its usual dialogue.
Yep, yep, yep. These are already dead. Enjoy the view. I remember that line from the first time. Okay. Now, as soon as I can pause, we're gonna take a look at look at this weapon and see if, what it's what it's described as. I can pause. All right. Give me a sec. Basic weapon. Info zero. Also, there's this thing. <laughs> I don't think I've ever read this thing yet. Bits of a strange beta parasite, considering entirely of nano and resistance, even the most nano weapons. These pesky slug like bugs infested one of the taser chips and spread like wildfire when they land on the surface. If alone, they're hardly a threat, but in large groups of bullets can drain the armor. Yeah, I'm not going to read all of this. I am going to just quickly scroll through it all. You're too big to duck incoming projectiles. Oh, that's called a shredder. To trigger the mechanism, yep, I did that. That was fun. Commando troop, going to berserker, going to beast. Okay. Commando assassin, annihilator, sky smasher. Yep, okay, that was all of that. Okay, it's 18. It's <laughs> weird. All right, our lady, the next gen nano is being developed. I come out on Imperial Research, and the most of the products were kept secret. Do, 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 do. Comet rush like anything? Okay. Well, let's have fun. Okay. Wait, oh my god, you you got turrets. Oh my god, this does real damage. It does real damage. Okay. It does real damage! <laughs> it does real damage! Okay. Okay. Oh, notice how it says maximum charge right there. That means he's harder. But the massacre is still making this way easier. Ooh, 
the massacre is awesome. I like the massacre. Okay. That made things fun. Hooray for pacifism. You get you get you get the massacre if you're a pacifist. <laughs> Which is just totally ironic. Ah, that weapon. No one outside the Imperial Research should even know it exists. Mercy, have mercy on me. Hooray! Okay. Mercy, uh, you, you surrender? I won't die by the hands of a human. Huh, you think you... You should have thought of that before you tried to find me. Don't think I'm weak just because I'm human. Now, will you listen to me? You, it's true. You're not much of a warrior, but your will is so strong. It doesn't seem to matter. Then again, to kill my honored Iosa. I told you it wasn't me. Whatever. whatever. Look, the Tazin are dead. All you gotta do is show the report on their extinction to your army and they'll believe you, right? Huh, it's not that simple. The report is already official, but there's still a chance of survivors. No, there isn't! Anyone can understand that the Tazen never had a chance against the kind of force you brought down here. Don't you think it's meaningless to Alpha Strike this place? If we don't, what would the people think? They and the Tazen are the reason for this war in the first place. I, I'll tell you what the humans would think. We'd be grateful. Human, you are special. Your nanotechnology must have been given to you by the Tazen. We've no reason to believe the rest of your kind don't have the same potential. No, the Tazen didn't. Some people did this to me by stealing the Tazen stuff. They had nothing to do with it. And why would they help us after I Alpha striking us anyways? Hmm. It was just a theory I'd heard. I don't personally believe it, but Hikman would... Likely would. Any reason to strike this planet is good enough. They're that afraid of the Imperial Army if I defy them now... I can't tell what will happen to Origin. A fleet that was sent here is but a fraction of the army. I may be in charge of this particular attack force, but I'm only one of many generals in the big picture. But then at least you're the leader of this fleet. If they won't listen to you, I mean, how you, can you be their leader if they don't listen to you? Hmm. General Tor, respond, General Tor. Hmm, Kuron, what is it? The strike is almost here. Why haven't you returned yet? I've been caught up in some personal business on ground level. What's the strike time? Half a cycle. You better get up here quickly. Hold on. It's now a quarter so. So abort whatever you're doing and head up here right now. Curran, wait. I have a message for the fleet. What is it? We're heading home. The Komodo's business with Origin is done. Come again, General? You heard me loud and clear. Abort the Alpha Strike. General, are you out of your mind? What about the Tazen? What about the Anomaly? Her nanogun? Don't make me repeat myself, Karen. The Tazen are gone, and the Quinn will never again touch this planet. We don't need another salvation on our concepts. Returning home and the mission will be reported as a success, because that's what it is. Is that perfectly clear? Yes, General. Understood. There's always been reason behind your decision. I'm sure you're right this time, too. As good. As for the anomaly, consider her dead, and Kieran, I may not return. What do you mean, General? I have made a personal decision. I entrust the fleet to you, and that you will report with full success. I see, I had feelings that come to this. Do, 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 do. Thank you, and transition. Human, don't thank me yet. You must have seen the acid rain. Do, 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 do. Se Ooh, secondly, your mindset. That naive pacifism that should have gotten you killed by now. Somehow I admire it. That if the planet dies, it will have been for nothing. And that's what's likely to happen. You, you think we'll all die? You spirit us even though that's what you think will happen? No, to give you a chance. But that one chance is all you get. Remember that. Now tell me, how many of your kind survived here? And how much of the natural life remains? Uh, not a whole lot, I think. Then I assume that you don't have a home to return to? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're not talking about Dan being dead. That's a little different, ain't it? I see. You are a rare individual. Like I also, I can feel your inner working is just listening to your words, and I can't stand it. As you've probably guessed, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of living with the knowledge of having killed more people than I can count. And I take full responsibility for what's happened to Origin. I also is dead, and the Tazen are gone. 
I don't believe in your future, and I don't want to live to see Origin die. If you can't return home, then neither shall I. General, hello? Oh. Yay, finally reunited in an outcome that's where we both live. That's kind of the cooler ending. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe that your reward for for being a pacifist is freaking the ultimate gun. <laughs> oh, that is so ironic. So, the only thing left after this is I'm probably just gonna see if if you go full, uh, everyone must die mode. Um, and shoot the general what happens and then after that I will um, I guess I'll be doing my thorough search of all the areas to try and find the posters and other secrets that be hiding out of course we also have sectors you can't forget that yeah so that's what's well left I'm Probably, I feel like this is probably good enough to be of its own part. This is definitely going to be very confusing. Things are a little... Well, things are a little... Hmm. Words are hard. English is hard. Coming up with words to describe things is hard. It's difficult, but whatever. It's just like... I'm happy to. I want. I'm interested enough to see at least that ending, and then there's still like the possibility of mismatching with Dan being alive, Dan being dead. Like, oh god, it's, what a mess! You could have Dan be alive, Dan be dead, and then get Alpha struck. It's all. Dan will start. Will he start yelling at me for shooting the general in the face instead of asking him to stop the health trick? Who knows? What the heck is going to be the ending credit scene if the planet is basically gone? Oh. This is such a great game. We basically did lie, just straight up lie, that the Tazen were all dead to the guy, but eh. Because we absolutely knew that there were Tazen still alive, but we kept shouting that they were all dead and just please leave, basically. gun as the final reward. Ugh. Okay. Did it again.
Man, I, I, I got my damage down a little bit, actually. I've got only a careless. Hooray. Doesn't really matter. And another new record, because why not? <laughs> I've played a little faster. It is definitely a little faster just to shoot the core that it is to have to go around and fight Asha. All that stuff. Makes sense in the end. Okay, um, I think I'm done for now, <laughs> and I'll figure out doing the rest another time. Where, where am I at? I've, I got Sector Z, and then I've got, yeah, so that'll probably be enough for another part. So, this has been the Great Light, Mr. D. We're, we're, we're getting through it all. Hope you enjoy it. God, this is, how could the, I've played through the game how many times now, and there's still so much left. Aloha.